Jake Gage instead. A little bit of the hockey background coming in here, challenging the first kick from Gara Galson and immediately uh, driving Galson into the cage. But now Galson working and trying to get his back towards the center, which is a good dominant position for any mixed martial arts to be in. Gawson, of course, in the red Muay Thai shorts, the black and red trunks for Schellenberg. Schellenberg trying to find range. He's going to have to get inside. Gawson, a longer fighter even for his height, and uh, has a bit of a reach advantage here. And Schellenberg's going to have to try and slip inside that to get forward. He definitely has that Muay Thai build. You can see even the curvature of his back set up like one of those uh, very dominant Muay Thai fighters. And you saw in the very first kick that uh, those kicks come with some authority. But Schellenberg not one to back down. Now pushing Gossen up against the cage and trying to get to work there. He's got to try and lean, try and slow Gara Gossen down. Dawson throwing Schellenberg aside. Big kick to the knee, answered with a kick to the body. Again, Gawson just pacing on the outside. Another kick to the leg. Schellenberg lands a couple of his own. Dawson responds, nice exchange there from both fighters. Schellenberg may have been hurt there, Jeremy. His eyes blinking a little faster than uh, one eye winking a little faster than the other one. And Schellenberg is feeling those trouble. leg kicks because he just leaned on that one. He is not enjoying these leg kicks at all from Gerard Gossen. No, that last one, the leg came down very slowly. Gossen spinning away after missing the leg kick. Schellenberg trying to take advantage, but Gossen getting right back in time. Just missing that overhand right. Schellenberg has to find a way to get inside. That's one way is just rushing through. Gary Gossen throwing a big knee, but right into the takedown of Dylan Schellenberg. And that is one way to slow down those kicks. Take your opponent, get him on the ground. And this is where Schellenberg wanted to work. That was a nice sweep, though, for a guy who we haven't seen much of his grappling game. No, we haven't seen anything from Garagossin on the ground, and the first thing he does, a very powerful sweep. Just using those powerful legs, Jeremy just effectively kicked him off, rolled him over, but now he may be in some trouble here. Short time left in the round, had one hand in. Schellenberg looking for the arm bar, but Gossin popping back out. And again, that is the end of round number one. Nice combination there. And Schellenberg trying to find an opening, Jeremy, to get in so that he doesn't have to eat the punch to get close. Just needs to increase the head movement. Try and get Guerra looking at a different angle, and that's a way to do it. Get inside, and there's another takedown attempt here from Dylan Schellenberg. Now switching over to the single. Nice wizard there from Gara Gawson. Has it in deep. That's able to keep the pressure up to make it so it's very difficult for Schellenberg to get the takedown. And now Gara Gawson pushing Schellenberg up against the cage. And Gawson reversing position. Oh, and then coming in, both of them landing a right hand. But Gawson not backing up. Again, loves Muay Thai. Says he likes the ground game, but it's Muay Thai that, that brings him to the gym every day. And again, trying to find an opening. No strikes to the head of a downed opponent here under the amateur rules in Calgary. Trying the spinning back fist. Gossin just stepping out of the way. Oh, nice one-two there from Gossin. Schellenberg shakes it off. Another leg kick. Gossin really used the leg kicks to a good advantage in round one, Jeremy. Well, and you can see the big welts on the side of Dylan Schellenberg's lead leg, that's his left leg. Schellenberg continues to come forward, trying to get this fight to the ground. His three takedown attempts so far, Gara Gossin has been able to defend them. Schellenberg in on the single leg now, trying to get that leg up in the air. That's a good way to take away the base, land a couple of knees while that leg is straight. Nice counter from Gara Gossin. Yeah, Gossin just muscling him down to the ground and now has top position. 
on Garagossin. Knee to the body. Schoenberg trying to find a spot in the cage to help him get back up. And Gossett leaning with his forearm on the throat of Dylan Schellenberg trying to interrupt the breathing. There's another punch to the body. Schellenberg trying to get to a leg, trying to come through, and he does have a leg. This is a dangerous spot for Garrett Gossett. If he does not deal with this leg, Dylan Schellenberg can roll into a leg lock, and he can't twist with it under the amateur rules, but he can put the pressure on it, similar to an arm bar. So it's a dangerous spot for Garrett Gossett right now. If he makes one misstep, Dylan Schellenberg is going to be able to capitalize. Yeah, it seems like Gossin's taking the pressure off, and now he's just landing hammer fists to the body and just direct punches to the liver. I, of, uh, and uh, referee advising him he can't drop a knee on the face. We also haven't seen Gary Gossin go deep into a fight yet, Jeremy. It'll be interesting to see what he has in the gas tank. How much effort he the, the kicks come effortlessly. So it's up to Dylan Schellenberg to push the pace to try and get those kicks to to slow down. But now it's the striking coming forward with the punches straight ahead from Kara Goss and good return there from Schellenberg. Yeah, Schellenberg landing a couple of punches in that return, but had to eat a couple of punches to get in there. There was a, a little bit of everything behind that punch from Dylan Schellenberg looking to to find that off button. Short front leg kick there, and there is some blood coming from the eye of Gara Gossin. So it could have been that big punch that landed earlier on in this round. So now a target for Dylan Schellenberg to say, hey, that's where I need to punch. That's where I need to aim. Yeah, just over top of the right eye. He's cut open. Doesn't seem to be in a position that it would impede his vision, though. Just off to the side. Dawson, another right hand lands. Or his left eye, rather. Is where the cut is. And again, not as crisp here in the third round as Gary Gossin. Now, I don't know if that's, if that's, I've got two rounds in the bag, I'm going to play it somewhat conservative, or if that's uh, a gas tank issue. Schellenberg comes forward and tries to find a spot. A little teep there. When hockey players have the ability to recover very quickly, as of the nature of that sport, 30 second shifts, but that is a nice stiff leg kick again that landed right flush on the knee of Dylan Schellenberg. Yeah, it almost seemed like Schellenberg was trying to get his hand down in front of the kick to take some of the velocity away coming forward, landing punches there. That cut now bleeding pretty good on the side of the head of Aguirre Gossin, and again, just trying to keep him at distance. 45 seconds left, Schellenberg's gonna need uh, to, to finish this fight, and at this point, it's probably by knockout or nothing, and uh, so Schellenberg's gonna load everything into every punch the rest of the way, I imagine, and Gossin needs to make it 30 more seconds to get a win here. Schellenberg in trouble here, a big spinning back fist, that one blocked. Short time left in the third and final round, catching a kick. Dylan Schoenberg needs to throw with everything here in the next couple seconds if he wants to win this fight, but it's Garrett Gossin coming forward and landing a couple, getting into the clinch, trying to take away the power. A takedown may win Schoenberg round three, but this should be a Garrett Gossin victory.